that there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. Do you know what I'm talking about? Matrix? Do you want to know what it is? Hi, hi guys, welcome back to Tino Talks. Today's video we're going to be talking about The Matrix. Uh, I'm sorry if it's dark right now. Uh, it's because it's nighttime. It's just I want to be talking to you guys. Love y'all. Um, well, first of all, I want to ask this question to y'all before y'all even click the end button right here. What is The Matrix? I'm gonna give y'all a second to figure that out. I know a lot of y'all be talking about the movie, you know that stuff, you know, like the Matrix 4, it sucked and all that, but that's not what I'm talking about. Real life Matrix. Like, what is that? What is real life Matrix? So, real life Matrix is, um, I don't know if y'all seen the movie. Uh, Matrix. I know a lot of y'all have seen the movie, the first one, uh, with Neon and, and Neon and all that stuff. Where is they open their eyes, right? How uh, they open my eye, uh, they came a real pill. And it's funny because I'm wearing the red shirt, right? <laughs> so I want y'all to open your mind. Where you wear stuff, right? Where your red clothes, where your uh, red caps, whatever, right? Uh, I want y'all to know. It's a real life thing. But what is it exactly? What it is is we live in a in a nasty world. It really is nasty. We live in a world where it's not how it is. It's filthy. It's full of garbage. Now hold on, hold on before you hit the end button in this video this is some real life shit how is the way in this world how do we get on this world no no we're not gonna be talking we're not gonna be doing what you know the slow moving and all that shit like they did in the movie how do we get off this real life matrix First, before we even go to the topic, before we even answer the question, and y'all hit the end button right now, I want y'all to listen to this thing first. This world is real filthy. It's nasty. It's full garbage. It's just, it's the nastiest world. When y'all wearing your real shit, I want y'all think about the movie. This in our opener. I want y'all think about how near took the pill and was choosing the blue pill if you were blue right now go take it off go put your red shirt because we all gonna be waking today and I was told this video might be taken off today and I'm gonna tell you why you seen in my other videos we talk about the third eye you see in my other videos we talk about meditation and what it does. The reason they don't take it off is we're going to be open our eyes to the full extent. We're all extremely asleep. We're going to get off our shelf. We're going to get off out of this element. We're going to get out, out of this world. We're going to be looking through the screen. We're going to be looking out, out somewhere else. And we're going to be looking at this. this nastiest shit right and say well, I'm free how uh, how we got in this world was by being persuaded we all each of us we persuade we be lied to they made false advertisements and they tell us false things they tell us this this is a beautiful ass world you fall for it. They show us just 
a picture and image there's something beautiful but this is a nasty ass motherfucking place they keep us in the advertising and you know how y'all go to a movie theater and it has the beautiful screen the beautiful daylight the beautiful sky and all that shit it's not like that it's not even like that that's what we all wearing the red shirt right everybody you wearing the blue shirt one more time guys go take it off blue your red shirts right now wear your red shirts come on wear your red shirts because we're taking the peel just like Neil the you're gonna take the bread peel so why are we in this motherfucking place right they promise us we're gonna be living right this is the this is the dream that we're gonna be living fancy right that we're gonna be living the rich life they are gonna be living the awesome motherfucking fancy fancy cars with Lamborghinis, Rolls Royce, Bugattis, right? Bailey's and all that shit, right? They put that shit right in our face. They say we can get all that, right? That's how we got per saves. With mansions, beautiful houses, right? Beautiful gardens, beautiful streets, all that and nice and clean, right? Everybody been safe and all that shit. That's what they told us. Guess what? They lied to us. They lied to you. They lied to me. They lied to every motherfucking person that's in this motherfucking world. Then this is how it is. They lie. How do you they fucking lie? I'm gonna tell you how they lie. Besides the money, they even show us stacks of money. That's how the motherfuckers lie to us. Now, I want y'all to think about this. Y'all, I want y'all to think about this shit. I want y'all to fucking think about it. Think a second real quick. And then say, because think about it. If y'all go to my other videos, and y'all see how the third eye works, y'all seen all the shit, right? Like, think about it. How many people in this world are living un under the means? How many? No one, right? We can't live under the means because they keep... And this is part of the matrix. Because they keep telling us, oh, you know, we everybody's the minimum per wage. It's going to go up to $15 an hour. Cool. Now you see gas going up. Now you see motherfucking uh, rent going up. Mortgage going up, uh, buying a house going up, buying a car going up, everything going up. But why? Because it's part of the motherfucking matrix, and this is how they persuade us to make us think. Make us think this is how it is. How many of us can say we're we're actually I can go out today and not even worry about tomorrow because I gonna have it. How many of y'all? How many of y'all motherfuckers can actually think about that shit? None of y'all, right? Why? Guess we're living in this motherfucking matrix. How would they put it on our motherfucking face and they say, oh, y'all can get all this shit? We can get all this shit. How many of y'all are actually working two jobs just so y'all can pay, just, just pay for gas? I'm taking a second so y'all can process this and this is a, a lot of the process. Cause think about it. If we if we were not even living in the matrix, we were it's so cool, it's a fair game for everybody. It's not a fair game. To change the rules out of the game what once they, they feel like we're about to win. And that's what the motherfucking matrix is this about. You know, we're living with motherfucking factories and all that shit that we hardly have a hard time to breathe. Everywhere we go, almost everywhere we go, it smells like fucking, fucking skunk. They smell like motherfucking sore shit. Like, come on now. How many of y'all actually can, uh, 
relay you be like hey you guys uh, I'm gonna have a nice walk to the park you can't because you the first thing you'll think of like damn how am I gonna pay this bill how am I gonna pay this gas uh, insurance shit like that it's all part of the motherfucking fate in matrix we can never this is your last chance after this there is no turning back you take the blue pill the story ends you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe you take the red pill you stay in wonderland and i show you how deep the rabbit hole goes like this is a mu okay we're never gonna get out of this matrix i don't tell you about why because every time you feel hey, going ahead you feel like you're getting a little a little extra they throw you on the next motherfucking bill how many of y'all actually can tell me let's go here let's test y'all the theory how many of y'all can relate to this shit how many of y'all can actually relate to this shit real quick <clears throat> How many of y'all can you actually say do you have a stash somewhere you're not even thinking about touching because you got less bills than the next person next to you? Like look next to, I want y'all to do this for me real quick. Look at your neighbor to your right. Look at the neighbor to your left. Right. Tell me right now. You see him do a barbecue. Right. You see this motherfucker doing a barbecue, right? Every fucking weekend, you look at the neighbor next to you. Yes, I'm yawning because I want to talk to you guys. It's late. All right. Uh, I want you to look at the neighbor to the right now. And when we, I want to see what he got. What's the difference between the neighbor to the left? He's doing barbecues every single motherfucking week until the neighbor to the right. The, Barely goes out into yourself too. You see him barely gets out. You see him maybe a week, two weeks. You'll be like, hey neighbor, which how you doing? But you see him working in his garden and all that shit. But you looking at all that shit. You see him piles and all that shit. How many of y'all got broken cars, mechanics and shit like that too? They can even take your car to the mechanic to get fixed or shit like that. Getting simple oil change. How many? A lot of you, all right. So let's relate this a little more. Who has a bigger stack of bills right now? I'm gonna raise my hand right now. I'm gonna raise my motherfucking hand right now. I do. I got a whole motherfucking sex of bills. And I'm gonna tell you right now. And I'm gonna tell you how we gonna get this fucking out of this motherfucking matrix, guys. This matrix is not in a motherfucking joke. This matrix is it's not even an illusion, guys. This is a motherfucking real thing, guys. Cause every time you think you get two hits, two shits. How many Hold on, hold on. Hold on, let's pause pause for a second. Hold your horses, everybody. Hold your whole motherfucking horses. Hold up. Alright, guys. How do y'all motherfuckers really? When it comes to Friday, you can actually go out and say, I'm gonna have a beer, have a drink, I'm gonna get with my family. Then you don't even feel like your mouth fucking tell you gonna make it. You gonna have to pay in your rent is up this week. How many of y'all? Yeah, <laughs> it's hard, right? Now let's go. Let's go here. Let's go here. How are we gonna get out this matrix? So we have to get off the grid. Are you going the grid? Is living in the country? Hold on, hold on, a lot of you motherfuckers already think I'm not living in no motherfucking country. 
Matrix. Living in the city is living in the grill. You living in the motherfucking Matrix every motherfucking day. Cause you, how many of y'all can say, I own this shit. I own two houses, three houses. And this is not even a business perspective. You can say, I can flip a house. I can do this shit. I can do that. Like how, how, how do you guys can infiltrate, right? Cause you get persuaded, right? Cause the city is the shit. The city, like come on now, guys. When we're leading to Matrix, how many of y'all be like, how many of y'all can you actually see? You see a regular car, like we were driving an Altima, a Toyota, in TV. Most of the time you see in TV, in YouTube now these days, anywhere, they either having a motherfucking Lamborghini, Ferrari, Bentley, McLaren, whatever, right? It's Celine, fucking GTR, you name it, right? You name it. A Royce Toys, whatever. How many of y'all can relate, can say, damn, that's for badass. Because that's the shit that persuades you in every motherfucking life. And they put on this motherfucking big ass mansion, $34 million. 50 million, 10 million, 2 million, 3 million, 5 million, whatever, right? And you can't even look, and you're looking there, you're looking to the next, you look up to the sky, you look everywhere, be like, how the fuck are they affording this shit? And I'm gonna tell you how. Because we live in a motherfucking fantasy, it's a motherfucking matrix where they make you think you can get that shit, we can't really get it. <laughs> you see, this is a motherfucking game to this motherfucking industry, to this world. Now, let's go back to the question. How many of y'all willing to live off the grid, live in a motherfucking farm? I already know. Y'all motherfuckers will be like, I'm no motherfucking redneck. I'm no motherfucking white. I'm no motherfucking this. Whatever, right? You're none of that. You're right. You're none of that. But what you are smart. Your intelligence. You're brilliant. But not gonna tell you, if you get off the country and you go to the country right now, off the city, I bet you you can have you can afford more. I bet you can have more peace of mind and it's less expensive. I'm gonna tell you why. Because in the city, everything's ranking up, ranking up, ranking up, ranking up, ranking up. Fucking factories, every fucking corner and all that shit. Warehouses and all that shit. But when you go to a, a fucking country, you don't got none of that shit, right? Shop malls right down the street. Hmm. Your job is down there. The next fucking block that way. Dealer shit right here, out here too. I'm telling you guys, that's a way you can have lift, lift right. It's less expensive. Let's notice. Even when you go buy a house out in the country, you have less. You have hospitals all over the fucking place here. You lose some, you win some. Remember that shit. And I'm telling you, this is how you beat the Matrix. Because the Matrix is real, guys. He can tell you about, to, to the factory, he tell you about top brands like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Michael Kors, shit like that. Armani Exchange. And swing shit, right? That's living in the grid. You can't afford that shit. And I'm saying you can't. But I'm just saying you can't. We can't afford that shit.
I'm telling you guys, this is the only way. And you can beat them. You beat the government to the own game, guys. Now, guys, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm um, just to let you know. This is a real deal, guys. I'm telling you, this is the real motherfucking deal. Cause if we get out to the country, it's less expensive, more affordable, and all that shit. Yes, you have to make drives and all that shit. But what you want, guys? Even a fast pace. When you're in the matrix, you feel like there's no way out. Or living somewhere more peaceful. So guys, this is gonna conclude my video for tonight. I see you in the next video. I'm gonna get my butt to bed. Um, just remember this was Tino Talks. Please subscribe, share it. Let me know what you think about this video, guys. Uh, you know, and I want you to know, think about it. What we just talked about. See ya, guys. Ciao. Don't forget, guys. Don't forget. This is the world that you know. The world as it was at the end of the 20th century. It exists now only as part of a neural interactive simulation that we call the Matrix. You've been living in a dream world, Neo. This is the world as it exists today. Mm -hmm.